through the library, you have access to many more resources than you did before. That's because UCSC, like other UC campuses, is a research university where professors conduct original research as well as train graduate students who are on their way to earning doctorate degrees. This is to your advantage since expectations are increased for you as upper division students to use high quality resources in your academic work. Before we talk about academic resources, let's take a look at some things you can do on-site at the campus libraries. First, under Collections, you can borrow specialized equipment from our Digital Scholarship Commons that's available on the ground floor of McHenry Library. Under the About menu, you can reserve a study room. These are available at McHenry Library and Science and Engineering Library. You can also check out laptops from the circulation desks on the main floors of each library. For more information about what's available at the library, visit our Welcome New Students page and click on On Campus to get a sense of the services and amenities available at both libraries. We group academic resources by discipline to help you. Look under the Help and Tutorials menu, click on Recommended Resources. We have one guide per department. We refer to these as research guides. Before I go into one of those, let's take a look at some other things on this page. We also have some course guides. You might find a course guide for your class here, or it might be linked from the Canvas page of your, your class. We also have topic guides. These are things that don't fall neatly into one particular discipline or department. A popular one is writing an annotated bibliography or a literature review. Back at the research guides, let's take a look at one of these. Look for the one called research guide in the title. And you'll see here there's ways to get specialized article databases, background information, or things that are specific to your particular department. Uh, in this case, protocols, data management, things like that. But you might also see th things for primary sources, statistics, or numeric data. It really depends on what is specific to your discipline. After this video, explore the resources you think will be useful for you this quarter. Now let's take a look at how to find resources through the library. On the library homepage, there's a search box called UC Library Search. I'm going to go ahead and search for video game trends. So UC Library Search is searching not just UCSC's libraries, but also the entire UC system. So it's a good idea, once you start on here, to actually sign in. You'll be prompted to sign in with your UCSC Gold password and use multi-factor authentication. Avoid the temptation to just take the first couple of sources that look good. Instead, take a step back and do a quick glance around some of the results that you pulled up. This is a good time to look through the titles and see if maybe there are some keywords that you could substitute or add on to. You can also take advantage of these limiters on the left-hand panel that'll go ahead and help you narrow down your sources here. So let's pretend you've got a short paper due and you were told you have to find peer-reviewed or scholarly or refereed articles. So you can click on peer-reviewed articles and it'll go ahead and give you just the articles that are listed as peer-reviewed in here. You can further refine, so maybe you want to go in by a publication date or maybe you want to get, to get some ideas in here through the, the subjects that are available. Once you find an article that looks helpful to you, go ahead and click on it. In this example, you can download a PDF directly or you might see a link to get it online. If it's not available to you, then this will pop up, this get it and request. Following this will lead you to a form that'll let you request the item through interlibrary loan. UC Library Search will also help you automatically generate a citation for whatever resource you use. From the left menu, click on Send To, then Citation, and pick the format that you need to use. It's always a good idea to double check the citation to make sure that punctuation and uh, capitalization are correct. 
Now let's go back to the library homepage and look at one more tool that's going to help you with your research, the process for signing in from off campus. You can get to this tool two ways, either sign in from off campus on the library main page at the bottom, or go up here to help in tutorials, sign in from off campus. You should do this even if you are living on campus. Right here, click on Cisco AnyConnect Client. This is a virtual private network or VPN. It's a one-time installation. You download it once and then you can use it whenever you need it. It works in conjunction with multi-factor authentication. If you have any problems, then open up a ticket with Campus ITS. There are people there who can assist you. Finally, you don't have to figure everything out by yourself. It's okay to ask for help. And really, part of being an upper division student is asking questions. And it's not only research questions. It's also asking questions of staff about policies and resources on campus. It's going to office hours with your professors. It's asking questions in class. And it's reaching out to the library when you have a question or are confused about something. It doesn't necessarily have to be a research question. You can reach us by going to Ask Us on each of the library web pages. That will let you chat with us. You can also go to Help in Tutorials and click on Get Research Help. Then you can email with us or sign up for a consultation. We hope you'll take advantage of these things to help you get the most out of your time at UCSC.